What's good, YouTube? This is Whiteboy503 coming at you with another PSP tutorial. Today's tutorial is going to be um, a custom firmware tutorial, kind of. Uh, it's basically just a fix for Pro B10, uh, but I guess they named it. It's basically Pro. It's called Pro C Beta. Basically, all it is is going to be a couple PRXs that'll allow you to um, do certain things that you normally couldn't do with Pro B10. The fixed version, at least. So, uh, let's get started. Uh, as you can see, I'm running uh, Pro B <coughs> 6.60 Pro B10. I'm using uh, Remote Joy Lite uh, to emulate it on my screen. If you ha don't know how to do that and you're curious, just go check out my other videos and you'll see. So, uh, download this link right or download this file right here. Link will be in the description as always. Um, just right click on it. And, um, <coughs> sorry about that, but, um, I quit using WinRAR and everything like that because it was just becoming a pain, uh, but this right here is 7-Zip, File Manager, uh, you can go to, go to Google, type in 7-Zip, and you can download it, it's free, and as far as I've had right now, I've had no, uh, complaints whatsoever towards it, so, yeah. So just right click, oh, go to 7-zip, um, and extract to the folder. Once you do that, you'll have this. And, uh, you can do this with, uh, 620, 635, 639, 6.60, of course. Um, but, I will, I will say this probably a couple times throughout this video, but you have to be running CFW for one, and you have to be running Pro B10, not ME. Not Pro B9, not Pro B8, not God, I don't care. You have to be running Pro B10 and for, in order for this to work. If you, if you don't heed my warning and you, um, and you try to use uh, ME and install this, if it breaks your crap, not my problem. I warned you. So, let's just get on with this. Uh, since I'm running 6.60, as you can see, uh, we'll just, just right click on the 6. Uh, 660, um, zip file extract use that extract it um then open it up and then go to your go to the kd and you'll see all this stuff right here all these prx's um basically what these things do is like ad hoc for this right here um basically kind of like allows you to uh i What's the word I'm looking for? Basically, basically allows you to play with people. Like, if I want to play, um, I don't know, freaking, I don't even know any multiplayer games for the PSP because I don't really, well, I don't know. Basically, if you want to play with people or whatever, this will allow you to do it. This will, this will allow you allow you to use ad hoc and everything like that. So, it can be useful if you're into that kind of thing. Me, not so much, but I know people who are. So, of course, I'm making the video, as you can see. So, uh, yeah, and you just drag that down here, um, exit out of that, go up, uh, go to USB connection, click it, the uh, remote jail will go blank right now, go into USB mode. I need to set it up where it'll just pull up automatically. I don't know why I haven't set it up like that. Just haven't. That way I don't have to go into uh, my computer and everything like that. Because every time I click into my computer, it decides it's going to take 10 minutes to think about it. Because I have a piece of crap computer. That's what happens when you're poor. That's what happens when you're poor, everybody. Come on. One more time. Uh. So I hope you guys um, like the new uh, videos and how it's going to be. Um, somebody was saying, telling me, uh, you should you should use um, like Camtasia or Hypercam or something and use a mic and just do your videos like that. It'll come out more better. And so I was like, uh, well, why not give it a try, you know? Why not? I mean, it's not going to hurt anything. So, I'm doing it. I mean, 
um, comment comment down if you like these kind of videos better. If they look clear or they look better, or would you rather me just use the uh, <clears throat> the camera? Whichever. I mean, it doesn't bother me either way. I still get the content to you guys. So just tell me which one you guys rather have. So just go into here. Just wait for this to load. Um, if you go into your SE plugins folder, if you do not have an SE plugins folder, simply right click, go down to new, and go to folder and name it SE plugins. You open this folder. And I already have the stuff in here, so I'm not gonna read. I'm not gonna drag and drop it in there again and do all that kind of crap, cause there's no need. I'll show you guys basically. Uh, so see they're right here. So just highlight them all, drag and drop them in there. I'm not gonna do it, cause I have them in there, like I said before. And you need to go into your uh, vsh.txt. If you don't have a vsh.txt, just right click, go to new and click uh, text document let's open this up and bring it over here and then um, what you want to do is you want to basically put from this uh, hold on from this over you this is what you want to type in <coughs> and uh, if you if you have a HDD I mean if you if you're using a PSP go and you wanted to put it on the HDD which is the um, internal hard drive I uh, just type EF0 instead of MS0. That's the only difference. Not that much of a big difference. And then what you want to do is you want to um, go like this. And either, you can either click Control C or just right click Copy. Exit out of that. Make sure you save it. It should give you a prompt saying, Do you want to save this if you exit out? Um, so yeah. Go into the game text. If you do not have a game text, just like I said with the VSH, just go in there, create one, name it game. Uh, and then you just just copy and paste it, and make sure for both the the VSH and the um, the VSH and the game. Make sure after every one of your things, after the PRX, that it says um, space one because that um, enables the PSP to uh, uh, basically say that it's enabled. And if you don't leave it, it's not going to work. If you if you leave it blank and you just like do that and don't have a one it's not gonna work so just save that um exit of that exit of that and that's basically it so i'm gonna i'm gonna exit out of this actually open another one um i'm gonna exit out of usb mode real quick i'm going to reset the vsh And uh, open this up. One second. This is why I, I don't like Remote Joy. It does and then it doesn't. God. Let's go and try this one more time. There we go. That's what we want. I'm going to plug this back in. Go down to uh, System Settings. And I, uh, another PRX on here. I forgot what it's called. But uh, let's go down to the bottom. Sorry it's lagging. I, I don't. It, it does that sometimes. It's. I don't know. It's just. It's a piece of crap. <coughs> My computer is too. But I'm talking about uh, Remote Joy. So, I mean. Okay, what the hell? Oh, there we go. Sorry. Uh, sorry. I guess it opened it twice. But um, see, it, it'll still say six point or six xx uh, because I don't know which whatever the hell you're running on. But it'll say Pro B uh ten still. But I mean, like I said, like I said in the beginning, it's not an official firmware, an official custom firmware. But I mean, it's just like a tweak or um, a fix to Pro B ten. But I mean, eventually, I know they're probably going to make a a Pro C sooner or later. This is just a beta to kind of like keep the uh, general people who do this kind of stuff happy. So that's basically it. So uh, what was I gonna say? I have no clue. Oh, um, 
like I say in most of my other videos, at least the recent ones, uh, help me grow. I'm I, as of now, I think I have 31 subscribers, and I'm actually I'm I'm surprised. I'm really I really am. I'm surprised that I've got that many so far, because uh, yeah, I didn't I didn't really think I would get all that many. But uh, well, I like to say thanks, of course, because I mean without you, I wouldn't be doing this because this is a big waste of my time if nobody's watching it, of course. So um, thanks to everybody who's watching, and thanks to the people who. Watch this in the future when I hopefully get more subscribers. So, uh, yeah. <clears throat> Share my video. Give it a thumbs up. Put it on Facebook, Twitter, anything. Put a comment. Um, even if the comment just says, hey, thanks for this. It helped. Like, that would be nice even. Or, I mean, you could... Say I'm a dickhead. I don't care. I really, like, I really don't care. As long as... It's, as long, you comment, dude. Just comment. It's not that hard. It's really not. But, uh... Yeah. So, I will put my Twitter in the description. That way you guys can follow me on Twitter, too. Um... Makes it a little bit easier to keep up with the channel and stuff like that. I don't know. If you don't have a Twitter, then... Oh, well. I mean, you can go make one and follow me if you want. I mean, you don't really have to, but... From my experience... People have told me, hey, it's a lot easier if, if you make a Twitter or whatever, they could follow you on that. So I figured, why not try it? So, uh, yeah, rate, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys later, all right? Peace.